hello and welcome to this session and in this session we are going to see some very useful tips and in terms of commands that you can use in your day to day life to work with robot framework i hope you have watched some earlier sessions on this series so today let us look at these very useful commands so i am going to my command prompt on windows and the very first command we are going to see is robot version and uh, you must already have seen this in the earlier sessions as well so after you install robot framework you can run this command robot space hyphen hyphen version and it gives you the version of the robot framework and also it gives you the version of python on which it is working so we can have more than one python version on our systems so we can always validate what is the python version which is being used by our robot framework the other command is robot space hyphen hyphen help and this command gives you all the details about the robot framework so if i go up it tells you robot framework is a generic test automation framework and also you can look at some of the information robot framework is a python based keyword driven test automation framework for acceptance level testing and acceptance test driven development so this information is very handy you can read this and then it also gives us different options that can be used along with your robot command so it will be very useful if you go through this and then let us look at the other command which is pip freeze so if you run this command pip freeze it gives you the details and the list of all the python packages that you have installed and is available so you can see you have this robot framework here robot framework 302 the version and all the other libraries of robot framework are also available here so you can use this the other command you can also use is pip list so if i say pip list and it is also similar to pip freeze it shows you all the list of libraries python libraries that you have available on your system and then we have a very useful command called as pip show so for example for any library or any package python package that you want to see the details you can say pip show and for example i want to see for robot framework and hit enter so it gives you all the details the name the version the summary and the home page url author email and location on your system so this is very handy you can use this with any other library as well so if i say pip show robot framework and selenium 2 library that we have already installed in our earlier sessions it shows us all the details and then the next command is pip check so this is again a very useful command so you can say pip check robot framework and if you hit enter it will actually check if there are any dependencies or requirements which are not satisfied so it will give you a list for now all the requirements are satisfied for robot framework so it is saying no broken requirements and similarly you can check for others so if i say pip check uh, let me say another library robot framework angular js library so i have already installed this library and if i hit enter it is saying no broken requirements now with my experience i know robot framework angular js library needs selenium 2 library to be installed so let us check if i uninstall selenium 2 library i say pip uninstall robot framework selenium 2 library and hit yes and it uninstalled the library and now if i say pip check robot framework angular js library and hit enter now you can see it is giving us the details robot framework extended to library and angular js requires robot framework selenium 2 library which is not installed so this will be very useful and very handy you will 
directly come to know what is the issue for example if you have added some library and it is not working properly just go and say pip check and that particular library and it will show you the details of what is missing what is the broken requirements so i hope this session was very useful for you you can use these commands in your day-to-day -day working of robot framework thank you for watching